Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. And today, I'm actually gonna make a quick little video and explain why farmers should plant high density apples. I've had a lot of people ask, you know, why are you putting these trees so close together here and there? And what's the point of high density if it costs so much? So the point of a high density apple system, growing system, in the long term, in the first five years, it is more profitable to the farmer. You could increase your fruit quality, increase better varieties to plant. So by increasing better quality, the main point is you have straight rows up and down. You have uniform tree structure, so all the trees in the row are the same. You know, you prune them to the same structure. You don't have different, you know, branches here and there. So it's it's all the same. The trees look the same, and the reason we plant the trees so close together is that not only you have trees, you have less fruit on each tree because they're a dwarf tree, but since you're putting them so close together. You're improving your yield overall on an acre basis. So whenever the, we're gonna trellis these apples, you, only, you have only a three foot canopy and that sunlight that comes through between the rows increases your fruit quality because you're getting a lot more sunlight which hits on the leaves, turns into photosynthesis, and then it increases your sugars and your starches inside your apple. So another thing, high density, is very important is it improve mechanization or that's that's huge in the apple industry you know people it's 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 a lot of it's a lot of labor and me honestly i don't like working in the sun all day long every day it, it gets tiring after a while so the input for platforms and mechanizations is huge on this system like i was saying you have uniform rows straight long rows you got the tree canopy is not very big so you can fit a lot more equipment and you increase your fruit quality by with mechanization whenever you go you go through in the in uh, June and thin the apples. You take out the, the the bad ones already whenever the apples are small. So by the end of the season, you you only have a row of apples of number one top quality apples. So some of the requirements for a high density apple system is that you're using a, a dwarf fruit stock, and these dwarf fruit stock that we're using the Geneva stock root stock, it was bred not only to be small, but to also improve bud initiation in the fall time so meaning in the early stages in the early years of the fruit of the tree still alive it produces a lot more flower buds which it increases more more yield and that's more profitable from a from the farmer standpoint and it's also easier to you know you monitor your bugs and pests you're not you know you're only su supervising a short area a smaller area instead of you know instead of planting a thousand two hundred trees on 20 acres you're only doing it on one acre and and that way you're using your land more efficiently you're getting the most out of your land so if you're got to hire someone to prune you you hire by a per acre basis so instead of paying them to prune 20 acres you're pruning them you're, you're paying them to prune only the one acre of high density apples so some of the requirements for the high density apples, like I was saying, is you also have to have a trellis. And by having the trellis, you're not you're not promoting the tree to have its own infrastructure because you're providing some of that structure. So you really want to promote that early growth in the first five years. And also some other important things, since they are a dwarf tree, you got to have irrigation. That's a big requirement for this system to have drip tube to irrigate the trees. So that you could promote that early cropping in the first years because that's the most profitable, you know, part of high density apple system. Alrighty guys, that was pretty much it. There's a quick little video on why we plant high density apples. It was, you know, if to the ones who had a lot of questions, I might have answered a lot of questions. But if there's any more, any more questions, leave them down in the comments. I'm going to try to explain, you know, to all my viewers why this high density is so, you know, profitable and why it makes farming a whole lot easier but that's pretty much it for today if you guys want to go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel and if you guys have anything let me know down below in the comments and until next time we'll see you guys you guys are awesome have a good day